Good morning. This is my uh, first update on the Oregon Coast Trail. It's Sunday, September 8th, and uh, we started on uh, Tuesday the 3rd. Uh, so I flew in to Portland on September 2nd from Denver and uh, was picked up by a friend of mine and his wife guy I met on the Appalachian Trail, uh, John, <clears throat> aka Spiceman, and um, so we kicked off where we stayed at a um, log cabin that, <clears throat> that night close to the uh, Washington-Oregon border, which is where you begin, and uh, we hiked probably 15 miles that day. Uh, we stayed at Delray Beach, and that was um camping on the beach which was pretty nice my camelback failed so i ran out of water but thankfully some guys on the beach people drinking beers hanging out up there um gave us a jug of water so that was very nice and a few bottles so definitely helped me out there um uh, from delray the next day we and that was a beautiful night um, camping out on the beach and comfortable, but from there, on the 4th, we hiked to, I think it's Indian, Indian Point, I believe it was, we wanted to get to E. Cola, but, um, my legs were totally blown out, my feet, pinky toes bleeding, big blister on my, my left, uh, pad of my foot, <clears throat> so I was really hurting, uh, out of shape, and regardless, your feet take a beating when they're not used to it, but really out of shape, I was really hurting on the, uh, the fourth, so the fifth, um, you know, John is, uh, he's in better shape, he's hiking faster, I get it, uh, I can't really keep up with him, so he took off, his wife is with him, uh, not hiking, but sort of just, uh, driving the car up and down the coast, and, um, you know, being of assistance and hanging out at night and stuff like that when she can, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, so on the, I guess it was the 5th, um, John took off in the morning, I slept in, I needed to sleep, and took off, I only hiked probably five or six miles to Cannon Beach, and I was in a lot of pain, and I ended up staying there, it's called a Nero, Nero Zero, uh, I got a little motel on the beach, it was actually pretty nice, um, and it was either that or I had to hike ten more miles before I was able to camp again. So, for whatever reason, I wouldn't say this trail is particularly hiker-friendly in the sense that they have a lot of restrictions on where you can and cannot camp. You know, either I get it on the beach if there's waves, but certain parts on the trail. Um, so, you have to sort of stealth camp sometimes if you're not at a park. Um, so, <clears throat> took off that day, stayed at Cannon Beach the next day. Uh, I guess it was the 6th, um, I hiked through Cannon Beach, and then to past Hugs Point, Arch Cape, um, and then was trying to get to, where was I trying to get to that day, um, well, further than I did, but the signage on the OCT is terrible, um, the last couple miles have been great and sort of strange because I've seen two signs before that. So it's very difficult to tell where you are. Uh, the guidebook is awful for through hikers. It's There is really no true through hike book. So using a lot of internet, uh, I have a, a power bank that this is charging on right now. So I use trail maps that help out a good deal um <clears throat> so <clears throat> after that yesterday uh the 7th uh took off hiking had no water so i had to stop i had a, less than a half a liter of water so just 
sipping on it and enjoying every little sip. Um, and had to get water the next day. Well, lo and behold, because there's another thing with the guidebook and, and all of this is that they don't really tell you where water is. The trail doesn't seem to be designed where you hit any streams <clears throat> and everything's dried up. There's no water, uh, which is really frustrating because I need it. Uh, you know, everybody needs it, but it's uh, as much as I carry seem to run out. So again, last night, I was hiking up, I believe it's Nellaham Mountain um, from Cape Falcon. I was a little short of that where I camped and <clears throat> got to, my goal was to get to um, where I'm going today. I forget what it's called, man. I keep forgetting. Let's see. Menzita. So, it's raining right now. I gotta pack up all my stuff in my tent. <clears throat> um, again, no water left. Uh, as you can see here, it's a little, that's all I have. And, <clears throat> um, I think Manzita is like a couple miles away, but who really knows? Because there's really nothing marked. No <clears throat> points to really tell where you are from a mileage standpoint, but I believe it's two miles away. So I'm going to get some food in town. I may stay the night. It's going to rain the next three days. It's raining right now. It's never fun hiking in the rain. You get used to it. I've certainly done it probably hundreds of times or a lot hiking the Appalachian Trail and the Colorado Trail, but it's not fun, especially waking up and packing all your gear up in the rain. And then you're soaked, but you know, once you get going, you get going. Um, haven't ate a lot in the last couple nights because I've had no water, it makes you thirsty, so I've had to watch that. And um, here I am, so here's my tent right now. Um, probably hear the rain, my little power bank, and uh, just trying to. Make it to town. There's my bag hanging outside my vestibule. So I'm going to uh, <clears throat> pack all that up and then uh, get to town, reevaluate. I might stay the night. I might, uh, it looks like there's camping around there. So I might camp as well. We'll see. Uh, but that's about it. You know, things are going well. I'm hurting, a little pain, but that's to be expected. That's usually what happens when you start, regardless of your shape. But uh, not in the best of shape, so I'm, I'm definitely hurting a little more than average. But I'm making it. Um, beautiful coast, beautiful beaches, beautiful sights. The trails, it's like an enchanted forest. It's, it's very pretty. It's just, uh, it's frustrating <clears throat> that there's... Just the signage is so poor. It's really the number one, and then and the water. They're the tide. Um, just, just I just I, the place is so wet. Everything's wet constantly, from like a, a fog. But there's no streams, so a little strange. But um, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and that's about all I have for now. Have a nice day. Today is Sunday the eighth of September and uh, 2019 and that's all I have for now my update take care